Hey there everyone, my name's Chaotic and today I'm going to be showing you something really cool. It's going to be an automatic fish farm in Subnautica. Now I know, I know, I know we're in alpha. I know that it's early access. I know that we can't, we can't, we can't be making farms and stuff. But I, I, I made one and it's really cool. And, and I hope that it's, this is how they meant for these things to be used. Because I'm hoping it does. It's, it's way too simple for them to have not meant for, um, things to be used in this way. Okay, so, but... Before, I'm gonna stop using things. I need to tell you exactly what what you need. You need to use two current generators and as many grav spheres as you want. You can use as many current generators as you want, but I'm gonna stick with two current generators and one grav sphere. Now, if you don't know how to make them, you go into your fabricator, go down into uh, equipment, and then there'll be current generator, which means a battery and metal. And uh, the same thing is actually needed. Exactly the same thing is needed for grav sphere, metal and battery. As you, they just swapped the names around for some reason. So you need a metal and battery, which means that you need three batteries. And you need three metal, obviously. Uh, so in order to get that, you need to get batteries, which need zinc and carbon. Carbon you get from purple mushrooms or knifing stalkers. And uh, and zinc you get from punching limestone. So there you go. So I'm going to show you how to build it. It's not really that, that complicated. But first off, what you want to do is find a nice little deep trench, like the one right, but not trench, like a little crevice. Like this one right here, which is has a clear path, path to the surface. Surface. Um, surface. <laughs> My god, I cannot speak. Sorry about that. Uh, a clear path to the surface. So, the reason you need that is because you don't want any like overhangs and stuff obstructing your current. So once you've got that, you need to go deep into it and try and figure out if you've got an exit route. This one happens to have a very perfect exit route. Uh, so you go through here and then you just go up here and you can avoid everything. Because basically what's going to happen is you're going to have the two current generators up there pointing downwards into this little crevice with uh, with, with the grav sphere in it. So basically what happens is, it is the current generators push the fish down into there and then they get uh, they get retrieved by the grav sphere, obstructed, trapped, whatever, by the by the grav sphere. So uh, I'm going to build it right now. So first off, what you need to do is uh, dig out some sand like I've done right here. And the reason you dig out the sand is so that the grav sphere doesn't move around because it's going to have a lot of pressure pushing down on it from the current generators. And you need to make sure it's in the hole securely so that it doesn't like roll around and stuff because I've had it before and it was really annoying. So that's there and that's activated. Uh, so then what you need to do is put the current on it. It's really simple to set these things up, but it's just a bit, it's just a bit, uh, a bit of trial and error to get the fish to actually go down there. So what, what I found out is that the current generators push, um, they, they, they go in the direction wherever your pointer is. Uh, that didn't make any sense, did it? <laughs> Basically, wherever you put your pointer, that's the direction where the, uh, the current's gonna go. So if you right click here, actually I need to go a bit higher than that. Um, but yeah, you want to get as high as possible so that you can, um, you, you can get the most fish possible. So right click there. And then that's where that's going to be. That's going to point directly towards the grav sphere. And then you need to get the other one, which is here. And put that on the opposite side. Obviously, if you use like four and stuff, then uh, then, it, then it doesn't matter where you put them. Just put them in uh, wherever, wherever's most efficient. Uh, so let's put it about here. And then you turn them both on. Uh, please, 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 please. Turn them both on. And you can, uh, you can do these to target whatever species you want. Uh, this area right here is particularly good for getting uh, for getting air sacs, so that's why I'm doing it right now. But obviously, you can find someone with peepers, and it's really good. Uh, so yeah, what happens is it'll push the fish right down here, and then they'll get they won't be able to move. So even if they don't go directly onto the grav sphere, they'll probably wander into the general direction anyway, um, and then they'll either get trapped floating around here or they'll be under it. So you might want to find find out how to dig some sand and get some different designs and stuff. This is just a basic. I literally just did it about five minutes ago, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta make a video about it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so this is basically it. And then the fish will, uh, I need to stop saying basically, um, but the fish will get, I don't know why there's three Tesla coils coming from it, but yeah, whatever. So yeah, the fish will go down here, get trapped on that, and then you can come and collect it. And then obviously you're, you feel a bit trapped right now. So actually I'm really trapped. I'm a bit too trapped in the sand. Hang on, move, move sand, <laughs> move sand, the floor in the design. Uh, hello? Okay. Yeah. So this is where it gets really annoying because the current's so strong, which is why you need an escape route. So basically, you come down here, check check whether anything's been caught, and then you can escape through your escape route and go back to your thing. Um, but that's pretty much it. Obviously, you can add more current generators, add more grav spheres, whatever you feel like, and have a few of these just to get target different species uh, if you want. But thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you, uh, you 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 comment if you like this or if you've got any more suggestions. I'd really love to see any any different suggestions for this kind of design. Um, obviously, this is just a really basic one. But if you guys have any cool stuff, make sure you let, send me a link or something. So I'd love to see them. Um, Best way to do that is on YouTube messages and, and stuff. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you do let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.